Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from the first dog mail of 2014, the show where I read out the emails that you guys send me from all over the freaking world. In this episode, we have got five dog mails to read, and in the background, you can see me working on the Feru Harvester machine in my Let's Play Feed the Beast series. And remember, guys, if you want to send me a dog mail, you can do so via email, Facebook, dogcraft.net, all of the details in the description box below. And remember guys, just because your email doesn't get read in the show doesn't mean I haven't read it. I read every single dog mail that I get. And let me tell you something guys, since the Christmas special, I have got so many amazing, awesome freaking emails from you guys. I just want to thank all of you who took time out of your lives to write to me. And uh, I read all of them and uh, I think I, e yeah, I even replied to some of you guys. So if I replied to one of you, uh, hit me up in the comments section below let me know that you got my email man <laughs> anyway guys let's get on with today's dog mails and i hope you are all having an amazing 2014 so far i'm having an awesome time man this is going to be the year of the freaking ren dog let me tell you something all right anyway guys let's get cracking with today's dog mails the first one comes from blizzard 2026 and he has the following to say dear ren dog you are awesome and amazing you are by far the best youtuber out <laughs> you always look for ways to help people that alone makes you a worthy person. I have some questions. Number one, have you heard the game Might and Magic? If so, what do you think? I, I know about Might and Magic, and in fact, I think that the Goxie, my brother and I, actually played a computer game version of Might and Magic quite a long time ago. Probably like, I don't know, eight or nine years ago, but... um. Uh, I, I know the game, and it's freaking sweet. Uh, number two, do you have any future Let's Play planned? Well, that is an excellent question, uh, Blizzard2026, because of course, this is 2014, and of course, there are going to be some really amazing games coming up this year, and the games that, that I have my eyeballs on are Starbound, when it goes out of beta and goes into full release, um, Elder Scrolls Online, aka Skyrim Online, that is going to be insanely epic, I cannot wait to play that game, and number three... A little game called Heroes of the Storm, and that is a game coming from Blizzard, my favorite game development studio, um, other than Mojang, of course. And this game is, of course, a, a Dota kind of game, and I'm a big fan of the genre, and I'm hoping that Blizzard are going to be able to, able to make the ultimate uh, version of Dota, because, of course, Dota is a game that originated from Warcraft 3. If you guys don't know what the jazz I'm talking about, go look up Dota, because... It's, it's a great game, man. It's one of the best games ever made. It's, it's huge. It's a, it's a freaking massive game. Uh, loads of people play it. And, I mean, there's loads of money on the line these days. There's pros playing. Um, there's a huge Dota scene going on on YouTube. It's a freaking huge game. And the only reason that I, that, that I don't play Dota myself on my YouTube channel is because I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm a noob at Dota. But, um, uh, and, you know, if you're going to play a game like Dota, you need to be really good. If you're going to make Dota videos on YouTube, nobody wants to watch a noob play Dota. You know what I'm saying? I definitely don't. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to Heroes of the Storm coming out from Blizzard. And hopefully that game is going to be sweet. So that's, that's, those are the games that I'm eyeballing at the moment, Blizzard. I'm, um, I'm, oh, oh, you're also Blizzard. <laughs> sweet. Just confused my brain over there. But um, I'm eyeballing a Starbound full release, uh, uh, Elder Scrolls Online, and Heroes of the Storm. So... Let's see, man. Maybe we'll get some Let's Plays for those sweet games. Uh, number three, can you please do a vlog to show us all the stuff you use? Man, that is a really good idea, actually. I, I get asked so many times, like, what equipment do I use to make these videos? And I'd love to show you guys. I'm sure you've seen a few of the bits and pieces in some of the videos that I've made. I think when I made um, a video, like, in the middle of last year... Yeah, I, I did like a vlog in the middle of last year and you guys could see my mic and my screen and stuff like that. But yeah, that sounds like a pretty sweet idea. Uh, number four, how are you and what are you doing? Well, right now I'm reading your freaking dog mail, bro. <laughs> but other than that, man, I'm just, I'm getting stuck into 2014. I've had a few, a bit of internet problems at the beginning of this year um, because there was some seriously hectic storms in my area here in London and it sort of took down one of, uh, one of the internet lines that, that run on my road and my internet's been and been up and down but i'm also in in the final sort of throes of uh of 
developing a game at the moment and um, the, this game was supposed to come out for Christmas but unfortunately we missed that freaking deadline so now that deadline has been pushed to the end of January so I'm like head down trying to get this freaking game done uh, and of course we are back on YouTube uh, you know I'm back to making daily videos um, for since the beginning of January basically every single day there's been a feed the beast or there's been a Minecraft and uh, a survival and I'm just trying to um, balance all of my freaking time so that I can get a video out to you guys every single day of course I'm still uh, doing two other jobs also I'm working part-time in a bar and I do freelance um, design and copywriting work so trying to balance all of that freaking jazz but in 2014 I made a new schedule I started I've, I've developed this entire schedule day by day right for the entire month of January and then I put everything in my phone so um, it's all like automated in my phone and I get like a message every every single time I'm supposed to be doing something I get a message so at like 9 a.m. it's like record Minecraft it's like beeps and it's like record Minecraft and then I sit down and record Minecraft and then it says go to gym my phone like beeps and then it's gym time then I go to gym etc etc and then go to work and then work on the freelance and man my phone is just is beeping all the time now but it's it's helping me to like control the the mass amount of jazz that I have to get done every single day and uh, I'm just getting into this this routine getting my life sorted out I've recently sorted out all of the admin and everything for my business so that's all good so everything is going really really well thank you very much for asking Blizzard sorry for the dog mail the long dog mail <laughs> from Blizzard 2026 in Australia. Oh man, I love hearing. This is such an awesome idea. One of you guys in a dog mail, I don't know, it was three or four dog mails ago, said uh, that everybody should say where they're from in the in their dog mails. This is so awesome now. You're all telling me where you're from and it's so cool, man. So very first dog mail coming from Australia. Thanks so much for that one, Blizzard. Let's move on to the next dog mail, guys. And this one comes from Nathan Manatee Madness. And he is from Washington and he has the following to say, Dear Ren Butt, <laughs> first of all, I would like to thank you for being an awesome person. I remember back in November of last year, I was like, I don't get the big deal of Minecraft, but I guess I can look for a few things up. I found Sir Ren Diggity Dog and I started watching you. I got really into the series. I've watched all of the videos season one to current day. I love your voice and the way you make videos because it's really unique from others. You and Ethel are my favorite YouTubers and I love all of your series, except Outlast or whatever it was called. Yeah, we won't talk about that one, man. Outlast is like the taboo game of the Rendog channel. Um, <laughs> that wasn't really my type of game, nor mine, my friend, nor mine. Uh, but everything else is freaking sweet. Keep making videos, good sir, and farewell. Your friend from Washington, Nathan Manatee Madness, smiley face <laughs> well thank you so freaking much for uh sending me a dog mail at nathan and it seems like you are a pretty new cyber diggity dog if you only started watching in november and that means my friend that you have watched 260 episodes of uh minecraft survival in like two months and that my friend is a feat in itself right because let, let, let's just break it down, Nathan. Let's just break it down, right? 260 episodes in 60 days equals at least like three to four episodes a day to get that to get that done. So I just want to I just want to thank you, my friend, so much for um, watching everything and dedicating so much of your your, your life in the last uh, two months to watching my videos. I mean, that is just absolutely awesome, dude. Uh, it, it makes me so stoked. I'm like smiling like a crazy person right now, uh, having just realized that you, you are literally watching three to four Rendog videos a day. And I don't even, have you, I didn't even know if you've watched all of the other videos. Have you watched like, did you watch Take It? Did you watch Feed the Beast? Did you watch Metro? Did you watch Dishonored? Yeah, it's impossible for you have to watch all of that, right? And if you have, dude, you are a freaking, you are like a cyber dog <laughs> god. If you have done that, bro. <laughs> but thank you so much for sending in that dog mail, Nathan. So glad you're enjoying the video. So awesome to hear from you. And uh, I hope you are having an awesome 2014. All right, guys, let's move on to the next dog mail. This one comes from Cyberdog CC Bro Boy 59. <laughs> uh, yeah, CC Bro Boy 159. All right, yeah, yeah. CC Bro Boy. And he has the following to say. Hey Rendog, my name is Charles. 
I wanted to say congrats on two, uh, on 669 videos, lol. I've always liked escaping to my bedroom to watch you create masterpieces out of blocks. I live in Kalispell, Montana, USA, but I might be moving to Florida soon. Oh, that's awesome, dude. That sounds really cool. Uh, I'm proud to say I'm your 20,159th subscriber. Jeez, that is awesome. Uh, the fact is I've been through my house burning down to the nether in real life. Plus my mom and my two sisters just left my stepdad. But when I watch you, I cheer up. But for the last three months, I haven't had internet, so I've fallen behind. Behind. Lucky I am cleaning up my act, so no need to harm my butthole. I was about to say, dude, your butthole is currently in jeopardy. Uh, I'd love if this was in dog mail. <laughs> Sorry for the excruciatingly long dog mail, but thanks for keeping an awesome YouTube channel at my fingertips. Your Sabbath dog, CC Bro Boy 59. Well, thank you so much uh, for that dog mail, uh, CC Bro Boy. And it's pretty awesome to hear that you're moving to Florida. I mean, I've never been to Florida, but. You know, from what I know about Florida, like from the movies and from like American friends that I have in London, they say that Florida is the balm shizzle, if you know what I'm saying. Like really nice weather, um, a really, really cool city. Everybody's like super chilled. Um, although Florida's the state, right? Oh God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop there before I embarrass myself. All I know is that Florida is pretty sweet. And uh, it also is basically the name of a rapper, right? Flo Rider. Um, yeah, old flow rider. <laughs> I, I always thought that that was like one of the stupidest names for any rapper ever, to be honest with you. But uh, anyway, <laughs> sorry to hear though that, you know, your house burnt down, man. That, that seriously sucks. And I hope that like everyone was okay, your family was okay, and, and nobody was seriously hurt. And of course, you know, so, sorry to hear about what's happening with your mom and your stepdad and all of that stuff. But you know what, my friend, you sound like you're in a good positive space and moving to Florida is going to be a great thing for you, I think, you know, like don't consider it as like an end of your current life. Consider it as like the beginning of a new life, you know, new opportunities, new people to meet. You're going to be able to start a, a brand new life in a brand new state, in a brand new city. It's going to be freaking sweet, man. And uh, I can only wish you the best of luck, Charles, my friend. Thank you so much for sending me that dog mail and uh, good luck with everything, my friend. All right, guys, let's move on to the next dog mail. And this one comes from uh, someone called Dylan. And Dylan has the following to say. Ha, Ren, diggity dog. I just wanted to email you and say that you are awesome. After a long, hard day's work, I come home and look forward to seeing the new video you uploaded. I remember watching you play Terraria 2, uh, Terraria two years ago and playing Project Zomboid and Diablo that you never kept playing, your butthole. Jeez, man, I remember that. That was ages ago. I can't believe you even remember Project Zomboid. Man, that game was awesome. Um was so hard though that if i recall correctly man that game was so hard and yeah man diablo we didn't get to finish that series either oh man uh damn that was a long time ago you're telling me bro i uh, hope you read this and maybe email me back well i'm not emailing you back i'm putting you in dog mail bro it's even better <laughs> that would make my day heck that would make my year well consider your year made sir Thanks again for reading this long email from Dylan. Well, thank you so much for getting in touch, Dylan, and for reminding me of uh, those awesome games, man. Project Zomboy, Diablo. I, you know what? I remember when, when I made the Diablo series, when I started making the Diablo series, I remember that the... the, the oh, man. I, I think the video quality and everything was absolutely terrible. I haven't watched those uh, Diablo videos in probably two years, I guess. Um, but I think that they were, I don't know, they weren't like full screen, they looked terrible, the sound was awful. Oh my goodness, man, those were back in the days when I was a YouTube noob. Um, but those were, those were good times, and those were good games also, man. Project Zomboid is an awesome game, and when I was playing Project Zomboid at the time, it was in like alpha or beta, I think. So I'm assuming that Project Zomboid is probably out now, I should probably look into that, and I'd like to give that game a try again, it's so awesome. But anyway, thank you so much for that dog mail. Dylan, thank you for sending that in. And I, I do hope that I have made your year and that uh, 2014 is going to be a really good year for you, sir. And uh, work your ass off, achieve everything that you need to achieve. And remember, man, you are freaking awesome. So uh, thanks for that email, Dylan. <laughs> All right, guys, let's move on to the next and final dog mail for today's episode. And this one comes from a cyber diggity dog called Dogs vs. Cats. And they have the following to say. Ha, Rendog! 
I'm a really big fan of yours, and I just wanted to say I've been subscribed since season one, episode one. That is awesome, bro. That is awesome. High five. Uh, and I really enjoy your videos. I hope you won't stop making videos. Ah, dude, I'm uh, not. If anything, I'm going to start making more videos. You guys are going to get freaking sick of my voice by the end of this year, man. Let me tell you. Uh, they really help me. I've been depressed for a while, but they always make me laugh. And I have one question. When you're done with making Mole City, are you going to go to the second continent or somewhere else and make another city? Thanks for reading this. You're one of my favorite YouTubers and Minecrafters of all time. Your biggest fan of all time. Dogs versus cats. Well, that is quite strange, dogs versus cats. I'm just going to call you DVC, uh, if you don't mind, of course. But um, I've actually been considering the next location of the next major city in our uh, Minecraft survival series. And I know what a ton of you guys are saying right now. Rendog, stop thinking about other jazz before you, you haven't even finished Mole City, you haven't even finished the Cyberdog Monument, you haven't even finished the freaking Lakeside Villa yet, and now you're thinking about building cities somewhere else. I hear you guys, and don't worry man, I'm not gonna be rushing away from Mole City anytime soon. However, we do need to think about you know, the future, like, and I'm talking maybe like six months from now. I'm talking maybe season four, season five. When Mole City is complete, we will need to make a new city. And the question really is, where is that city going to be? And we have got, we've got some options, man. You know, we've got some serious options. And one of the options I've been thinking about is the possibility of an underwater city. I'm going to just, I'm going to just uh, leave that one on the table for you guys to digest. And then just think about it a little bit. And uh, let me know what you think about that idea in the comment section of this video. And if there's a lot of interest for an underwater city, then maybe that's something we will do. Because remember guys, our current task in Minecraft survival is to go big or go home, right? We are no longer worrying about scale or worrying about being like held back by resources. Hell no. If we come up with a sweet idea, we're going to do it. And what could be sweeter than an underwater city? Can you even imagine how hard it would be to make that? <laughs> um, but that's a, see, that's the kind of challenge that I'm feeling, if you know what I'm saying. So what I'm thinking, right, is uh, to use the nether as a railway line to a, a brand new underwater city. And what we basically want to do is, is open up a nether portal in the nether that literally that drops us off straight under the ocean somewhere and that could be that could lead directly into the uh, the underwater city for example which would be pretty awesome if you ask me but anyway guys i'd love to get your opinion on that um of course we still have a lot of jazz to do before we get to making underwater cities so let's not get too excited about it uh, until the time comes we still have silkworm gang island to finish also in season three so there won't be any underwater cities uh, happening in season three that's for shizzle but season five you know that sounds like a pretty sweet project for season five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for that dog mail, dogs versus cats. And uh, really enjoyed reading it. Thanks for taking time out of your life to write to me. And thanks to again to all of you guys who sent me dog mails this week. Absolutely love them. I've spent my Sunday reading dog mails. It's made me so happy. Maybe you guys can hear, man. I'm in like a, such a good mood today. And that's because of you guys, man. That's because of all those sweet dog mails that I read today. So thanks to everybody. And remember, guys, you can send me dog mail via Facebook, via email, or via dogcraft.net. Details in the description box below. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, and yeah, that's that's basically it for, for this episode of Dog Mail. And we will see you next week for some more freaking dog mails. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, goodbye, my friends. <laughs>